Hey everyone, so I'm just doing my uh, monthly update of the tank and you know I got several projects going on. I don't think I'm going to discuss them all in this video because I, I want to do like uh, more specific shorter videos. But um, yeah, basically two major things to talk about in this video and the first is I got the cabinet doors up. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I ended up having to do them in my own shop. Uh, that was a little bit challenging. My equipment was not really designed to handle such big projects such as a six foot long door. Um, but uh, we got it done. Uh, it was a good excuse to buy a, a couple new router bits. And um, yeah, I think it turned out really good. I ended up going with the frosted plexiglass and those are backlit by the blue LEDs. I'll show you those in a second. Um, and you know, it's got the soft close hinges. I did try to look into glass, you know, frosted glass, but that ended up being, uh, more expensive than the plexiglass and the weight was going to be insane. That large door was going to have 21 pounds of glass in it. And, uh, I didn't think the soft close hinges were going to be able to keep up with that. So yeah, I mean, right now I have a little tweaking to do on the hinges, but so they're a little noisy when you open them, but you know, we've got... The, back, the blue LEDs backlighting them turns out pretty sweet. They're much more blue than what we see in the video here. I uh, bought them on Amazon. Um, they I couldn't find the 25 foot rolls on Amazon anymore. Uh, I use these same LEDs underneath my uh, sump or underneath my stand as a maintenance light. Uh, and I was able to buy a 25 foot roll for that project. But this roll I had to buy a, uh, a 50 foot roll. So when I, after running it through twice, I ended up starting to hang them on the ceiling. But then I got distracted with another project and it might have to wait till next weekend before I finish hanging those lights. Um, so that project that I got distracted by is over here in the macroalgae tank. And I know the macroalgae tank is a mess. Uh, I started adding some snails to it. I'm going to be a little less protective of my algaes and uh, just, you know... If the turbo snails start eating some of it, fine. We'll figure out what what is there after they've done their job, and we're we'll gonna kind of like come up with a new concept for this <clears throat> for this tank. Um, it's becoming too much work to do this tank without a uh, sizable cleanup crew. Um, however, that cr that cleanup crew might result in uh, my allergies being eaten. So, anyways. What happened in this tank is the other day I bought a pregnant cleaner shrimp and I wasn't quite expecting the larvae or the the baby shrimp to be released so, so soon, but they were. And I'm going to have a whole new video on me trying to raise them. Um, they're, I've collected them and they're in that filter sock in the back. I know it's ugly, but hey, it's like, uh, you know, the tank's already pretty ugly, so why not just put a filter sock in there? For all I know, they're all going to be dead in a week anyways, and I can take it out and continue on with whatever this tank's going to end up being. Um, but yeah, so we added four turbo snails and a cleaner shrimp in there. Uh, the cleaner shrimp, we were intending on adding it to the big tank um, until we realized that it was very, very pregnant, and we decided hey, it might be a cool cool project to try to get, them, get those uh, shrimp uh, raised to adulthood. But... Um, you know, we'll see. I, I'm like uncertain how it's going to work. Um, so yeah, the big tank, we added a few things. Um, unfortunately we can't really see them right now. So right about here in the sand bed is a heart urchin, which has buried itself, you know, almost immediately and has not been seen since. And then we got, we got one frag from the local fish store. It's a pretty good deal. Um, got that staghorn coral in the back there so pretty cool it was a pretty good price um i put it in the back just knowing how big those things get and thought it'd be a cool like background coral um other than that things have been going really well um i don't really want to show you inside the fish room um today because that that would uh accidentally reveal one of the projects i'm working on and i'm gonna wait till that project's finished before i show you so if you want to see uh, what I've been working on, uh, hit the subscribe button and hopefully in the next couple weeks I can, you know, do a 
do a, like a, another video that shows you some of the other projects I've been working on. Uh, again, I'm going to be posting another video. Uh, it's probably going to be its own playlist of trying to raise the, uh, the cleaner shrimp. That's going to depend on how successful it is. But at least I got another video posted. Make sure you check that out. Uh, again, hit subscribe if you like. Um, I think it's pretty cool how much attention this uh, channel's been getting. So I'm going to keep doing this monthly update. Um, makes me wish I would have started doing this like video blog uh, way back, like a year and a half ago when we started this project. You know, the, the tiling of the floor, hanging the drywall, building the stand, putting the tank on the stand, building the wall around it. That would have been a, that would have made a, a pretty a pretty good uh, series there, but um, unfortunately, I just started this video blogging um, right right now. Is we're basically construction on this tank is done as of today. So, all right, well, I'll leave you with that. Thanks for watching. Uh, have a good one.